So in this video, we're going to go over the new range field type that shipped as part of Expression Engine 6.3. So for starters, I already have a channel, and we're going to go ahead and add the field to this channel. So we're going to go here and choose a type of range. So the range slider, we'll just name it range. Uh, I do want to call it real quick that you can make this a conditional field. Uh, so in the field options, we also have a series of settings. So for starters, the minimum value of zero, this is the low end of the slider, if you will. The maximum would be the high end of the slider. We'll just leave these at zero and 100 for now. The step, this is uh, like your increment, if you will, we'll set it to two. So when you slide it, it will only increment by uh, this number, in this case, two. So the prefix and the suffix. So the prefix in this case is uh, a string that you can input that will come before the minimum value. And the suffix is a string you can input that will come after the minimum value. Uh, minimum and maximum value. Uh, the prefix is both applied to the minimum and maximum value as well. Uh, we'll jump into showing you those later as well. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Uh, we'll hit save to add the field to our channel. And let's go ahead and create a new channel entry. So we'll call this range demo for our title. And we'll jump into preview mode here. And what you'll notice is that as I drag it, it increments in uh, quantities of two as defined. So currently we're at 10 and 90. If I go ahead and hit save here, uh, we can save the entry. Jump back to live preview. Right now we are actually using um, a single tag in our template. Uh, real quick before I change this, what you'll notice is that in pro, the range slider also pulls through on the front end as intended. Um, so should be fully functioning and you should be in good shape there as well. So the other thing we can do though, is instead of using the single tag, we can actually drop in a tag pair here. So in this case, we have a range opening tag, which is the name of our field and the range closing tag. So inside of this, you have your from and your to. So your from and your to variables are the values on the low end and the high end. So uh, I'll go ahead and save this and let's just uh, increment our range a little bit. And you'll notice that the live preview has now updated to show between 14 and 90. Uh, similarly to this, there's also a series of individual variables that can be used. So if we come in here, we drop these. Um, so this is not inside the tag pair. These are individual uh, variables that you can use. You can have the range from range colon two, range colon min max, um, which will show, you know, zero and 100 here. Uh, if I go ahead and save this, you know, we'll just drag this again. You'll notice that uh, we have a series of items here now. So there is no prefix and suffix to find here. Uh, if you put those in the back end before, you can also output them here. Uh, I'll go do it real quick here. Fields, range. So we'll just do prefix, suffix. We'll hit save. And let's go over to our entry again, right here. And we hit preview. And you'll just notice that the prefix and the suffix are now populated. So that's a pretty straightforward example of the range slider.